Okay, um, so in my quest to get the air conditioning pump off, <coughs> I um, accidentally purged the system. How? By thinking that I need to just remove this thing completely, and by removing this hose, this hard line hose right here, which then started squirting refrigerant everywhere. Not very smart. Um, <laughs> so the the thing is right now what I've got to deal with is um, I gotta go get this refilled after obviously I don't need the air conditioning right now but I definitely want to get this filled I don't think I've ruined the bolt line or anything like that um, but yeah the system is completely purged there's no air conditioning anymore right now um, got refrigerant freaking everywhere it's so stupid and all because I couldn't find this freaking bolt right here two 14 millimeter bolts right there on the bottom um, and then this long one is actually the one on the top that's right here um, the other one is right here actually right here and it actually won't come up come off because there's washers right here so I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of leave it there but um, it's two bolts um, I'm just gonna leave the pump here try to get it out of the way as much as possible but uh, yeah that's kind of annoying that I have to go pay to get this thing filled again or I, I guess I could do it myself but forget it I mean my, I mean, if I'm going to have to pay for a lot of stuff, I'm going to just get that paid for as well. But yeah, luckily I got the AC pump off now. Now I'm going to try to get... Um, so I noticed actually on the on the uh, uh, opposite side of the alternator pump, um, alt alternator, there's another bolt, same size, but it was just really inaccessible because this was in the way. So I'm going to try to get that off, drop the alternator down, um, get it all disconnected. <coughs> um, yeah, so then the, I'll get the, the, I'll have the ability to get the alternate off, then in turn, get this bracket off, which has been kind of not annoying me, but it's just kind of, it's attached to the head. It's also attached to the block, but just enough so that I can get this off, so I can get um, access to um, the head itself on this side. Um, I know I definitely need to do the um, exhaust manifold as well, but yeah. Uh, I live and learn, you know, I just gotta, you know, that's so the one thing I do want to caution people about is that if you are attempting this and you are stupid like me and remove that, and I hope you learn from my lesson, don't remove this, you know, this is the fill pump area right here. Um, if you are stupid like me, you gotta vent out um, your area. So, I've got my garage door open pretty wide, I didn't get anything in my mouth or anything like that, but I'm definitely letting my shop vent out as much as possible just so that gives me a better, um, you know, better opportunity to not get brain damage from refrigerant in the air. So yeah, fun times and learning new stuff along the way. Um, I definitely haven't really attempted to do anything with the, um, the uh, power steering yet, but I know that if it's the same thing as this one, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because i got to get a bunch of stuff out of the way just to access the bolts which are attached to the side of the head, you know. Okay, well, that's it right now. I'm going to go and try to get that alternator off and hopefully that just, I think dropping that bolt will make the alternator just kind of fall off and we should be good on that one. All right.